okay in our previous classes we have learned how to do analysis with the help of ai tools website and r now today we are going to explore some species diversity analysis especially related to biological field so uh, today topic is species diversity analysis before going to uh, explore this type of analysis uh, we need another uh, information or arrangement of data set how to arrange our data set according to a specific analysis like uh, if you want to uh, do uh, two way ANOVA, one way ANOVA, Pearson correlation, heat map, you need to do uh, arrangement of your data set. I think we have already discussed in our previous class uh, R provide you a lot of uh, format data set which you can use for uh, as a sample data set. Uh, prepare your file according to this sample data set and do analysis. Now, today we uh, will explore species diversity analysis. So, first we need to know which type of analysis we can perform on species diversity and data. So open your chat GPT or if you can, your, uh, if you, you can share your screen, uh, it is better uh, to, uh, you will do practice live and uh, I will guide you properly. Uh, can you share your screen? Abbasab, can you share your screen? Okay, I start. The first step, explore. Uh, type of analysis included in diversity analysis. So open chat GPT. And type a message. I want to perform species diversity analysis. I want to perform so the right at start. I want to perform species diversity analysis in R. Please suggest me analysis on occurrence data set. And because uh, diversity analysis uh, use occurrence data set, so uh, first you need to uh, arrange your data set according to occurrence data set, and then you uh, need to perform analysis. So uh, first check these informations, type of data set, and name of analysis. So in basic diversity analysis, you can perform uh, species richness, <coughs> Shannon Warner index, symptom diversity, refraction analysis, beta diversity analysis, multivariate analysis in NMDS, and uh, principal coordinate analysis, environmental correlation. In environmental correlation, you can use uh, methods like conical cross bondent analysis or CCA and RDA to explore the relationship between the species distribution and environmental variables. And uh, the example data set and uh, example codes are given here.
okay here is a sample uh, script but uh, we first need to explore a uh, type of analysis so uh, these are the type of analysis which you can perform in r by using uh, So I am sending this data within group uh, type of analysis you can perform on a occurrence data set. No, we need to uh, uh, sample data set. So type here another message. I need built-in data set. for this analysis in R. It will give you the names of uh, data sets available for uh, this type of analysis. He uh, no chat GPT is giving you the name of data set that is the BCA data set. So BCA data set is uh, found within package wagon. So first we need to install a wagon package and then we need to perform this analysis so if you have a data set uh, you can arrange your data set according to bca data set so first explore uh, bca data set for bca data set you need a package name wagon so if you don't have this package uh, you first need to install but if you have this package uh, you need to do library so do library run this package again do library tidyverse no the both libraries are activates and no view bci data copy open and run bci data no no you can view the bci data set in screen number four screen number three here is the bci data set this is the occurrence data set uh, on head columns headings there are the species name and on rows, these are the uh, areas, specific area name. So area one, uh, species, uh, uh, zero species found, area two, zero species found, and area 10, one species, or one member of this species uh, is found. So this is the occurrence data set. If you have data set, you need to arrange your files according to this format. So, now we are going to perform analysis by using BCA data set. So copy this code, paste here. If you have your own data set, you need to take STR. After STR, provide this to ChatGPT. ChatGPT will write code for you. So species richness, Shannon index, Simpson index, no said uh, or give me all type of analysis. So if you want to check the species richness table, uh, here is the species uh, richness table. Just uh, select this portion and run. Here is the species Shannon index. Uh, if you want to check species richness, this is the species richness table. If you want to check diversity indices, you can explore this is the diversity in, uh, the West Indices show the, the species richness, Shannon index, and Simpson index all in one table. No. If you want to uh, draw reflection analysis or if you want to draw their plots, you can also uh, draw their plots. But if you want to explore reflection analysis, copy this code, paste here, and run this code. No, uh, chat GPT uh, or give you the uh, refraction analysis. Here is the refraction analysis. Okay, copy this code and share in group. Okay, and uh, now you need to uh, perform 
beta diversity analysis, copy this code, paste here, and run this code. So here is the cluster analysis for beta diversity. So copy this code, copy image, open R, open WhatsApp and share this plot in group. Okay, again open chat GPT. The next code is for NMDS and PCOA. So copy this code. It is a very simple code for copy, paste here. No, NMDS plot. It will give you the plot for NMD because data are too much. So it gives you some complicated plot. No, apply PCOA. And here is the plot for PCOA of BCA data set. So copy this code and share in Google. Now I am sending this code. And now please draw this plots and, and last is the environmental correlation. Okay, copy this code, apply here. Here you need uh, two data set. One is for environment data set and other is your occurrence data set. So BCA is occurrence data set and environment is the uh, environment data set. So it show that environment data not found. So you first need to explore uh, environment data. Type here uh, data BCI environment. When you type here, it will give you suggestions BCA environment. But in the case of script, there is a environment data. Uh, write a line here, uh, or you can copy this code and paste here and type a message. I want to apply this on BCI dot environment data. Or if you have your own data set, you need to do STR and provide this STR to ChatGPT. ChatGPT will write code for you. I think it's not working. Okay. No, you need, I am sending this complete code. Uh, please do this practice. And if you found an er any error, uh, please let me know. Please run this code. I am sending in group uh, one by one and send the results within group.
Uh, please perform uh, all these analysis and share this graph within group. Uh, you may perform uh, after this class, uh, but uh, now I want to uh, perform another analysis. And uh, now in, in this, by using this code, you, you can done uh, diversity analysis and including uh, species richness, uh, Shannon Warner index, uh, MCM some diversity index, and uh, the combined indices into a data frame. Uh, you can perform diversity indices. You can perform a diffraction curve analysis. You can perform dendrogram. You can perform NMDS. This is a simple code for NMDS of one line and one line for plot. Uh, you can also create a uh, analysis of PCOA by using these two lines. You can also perform uh, CCA and uh, other uh, RDA analysis on this data set. And if you have your own data set, you need to provide STR of your data set. Uh, similarly, as uh, we have done in previous uh, training sessions, we uh, provide STR to ChatGPT. ChatGPT writes script for us and and we uh, run in R. R will give us the results or plots in the form of table or figures. So uh, now you need to perform these analysis, but uh, you may try these after this class. No, I want to uh, explore another analysis uh, that is the study area map uh, because uh, maybe our next class is last class so i want to perform last analysis that is the study area map so all participants please check you have sf package in your screen number four come on screen number four all participants please click on screen number four packages click on packages all participants, please uh, click on packages and find here SF package. Please check uh, you have SF package. If you found this package SF, please type yes. If you don't have this package, type no. No, okay. Uh, now you need to install this package. Please uh, open install button. Type here SF. SF package and click on install button. After installation, please uh, do library and type done within chat.
Uh, please let me know, have you successfully installed SF package? In my case, I have uh, successfully unpacked MD5 subject. Okay, I am waiting. Okay, now all participants have done this installation. Now we are going to uh, perform study area map for this. We need another type of data set. Name shape files. So for creating a map of specific country, uh, we need to install a SF package and uh, we need a specific data named shape files. Shape files. So, from where we get these files, these files format is SHP file format. So, at the end of this file, our extension of this file is SHP file. SHP files. So we need SHP files. For SHP files, we need to open our website or Google Chrome, open Google Chrome and write a uh, diva dash GIS. This website contain some uh, mostly uh, shape files data for uh, all countries, but uh, nowadays these website is uh, not working properly, maybe due to some uh, technical issues. So you can explore uh, shape files of any country. For example, if you are in China, uh, you can explore the shape file of China or files China China here is a China sub national administrative boundaries so open this website humanitarians data exchange now OCHA here is the shape files for China map so you need to find SHP file format I am sending this link uh, in group copy and uh, shared no i have shared the link of uh, this website uh, with the uh, group all participants please open this website and find shp file format so here is the second option second file is uh, shape file shp zip shp file format first is xlx second emf and uh, gdb and you need to explore SHP file format. 
So download this file, click on download button. Click on this file on download button. Uh, create a new folder with the name map. And save this file. Okay, I have done installation of this, sorry, downloading of this file within a few seconds. So now I have uh, this file in a folder. Uh, now I need to extract this file. So all parts can please uh, open this, uh, save this file and type done. And then I will move to next step. Please uh, download this file and type done within chat. I am also uh, sending this file within WhatsApp group. You can also download uh, this file from uh, WhatsApp group. Uh, please let me know, have you uh, downloaded this file or not? I also have sent this file in uh, WhatsApp group. Okay, download it. Now you need to uh, extract this file. Uh, Click on right click on this file and extract here. You need to file extract here. When you click on extract here, all documents found within zip folder uh, will appear. Now you need to again find SHP file format. So here is a first file CGP, CPG, uh, DBF, PRG, SBN. Uh, here is the SHP file format, but it show that admin zero. CHN admin BNDA admin zero. So here is a zero file. Next is the one. You need to find one. Here is a SHP one, and next SHP two. Here is the admin two, and here is the admin three. So what is the difference between the these admin 0, admin 1, admin 2, admin 3, admin, admin 4. So admin 1 consists of data uh, on country level. Admin 2 consists of data provinces level. Admin 1 consists of data on province level. Admin uh, 3 consists of, admin 2 consists of data on divisions levels. And admin uh, 3 consists of data on uh, city level or district levels. So we have uh, up to admin 3 uh, or admin 2 data in these files. Now, if you want to explore uh, or create to map on uh, more below levels like uh, UN Council levels, city levels, village levels, you need to more shape files. You can get these files 
of your uh, geographical department or population department. So in world websites, you mostly get these data up to cities or district level. No, next step is uh, to import this data set in R. No, next step is how to import this data set in R. So first step is do library, library. Within library type SF, run this button. No, uh, your library is activated. All participants, please do library, package SF, and type done within chat. Muhammad Usman and Muhammad Abbas kindly uh, do library and type done within chat. Uh, so I can move to next step. Okay, done. Now we need to import this data set in our screen number. Oh, screen number three. So for import, we need SF package. So type SF read, SF, sorry, ST read, ST, read and select this function st read and within st read type inverted comma within st read type inverted comma no you need to open your folder where these files are found select file which you want to import so in the case of study area map, we need SHP files. So first uh, select admin zero. Here is the admin zero SHP file. Click on this file. When after click, single click, uh, our selection mark appeared on this file. No, next click, click is on uh, address bar and click on this space. When you click on here, it will show you the address bar of this file, address of this file. So copy this address, open again, open R and paste here. So all participant uh, done this step and type done within chat. Please do this step and type done. If you need further assistance, or uh, you can share your screen or uh, if you need more uh, I help, I can repeat this process. I am waiting for your reply. If you have any issue or uh, facing error or issues, please you can share your screen or I can also repeat this process. Please let me know.
okay i hope you have done this step please let me know have you copy uh, address of this file and paste within r i am just waiting for your reply because this step is complicated maybe you face errors Okay, now I'm going to next step. Uh, next step is uh, you need to copy this name, name, uh, rename, copy from uh, here this complete name with SHP extension. And again, type here a slash and paste this name here. Now you need to apply double space where single space here is single space uh, uh, slash again single slash double here is also single add another okay now run this code when you run this code you will get uh, uh, some lines showing that you have imported this data set in all Okay, now you have uh, uh, done this uh, this process, this step, how to import shape files in R. No, if you want to see these data set in screen number three, you need to do coding. You need to add less than minus and add its name, China. No, run this code, no. Uh, you have get this file in screen number three. Now here is the data set for China map or China shape files. No, if you want to create map on this data set, and now our time is also and no, uh, we will perform uh, the how to create map on shape files in our next class and hopefully uh, this next class will be last class so all participants try to live this class if you have any issues or uh, in our previous classes you can ask questions and uh, if you uh, want to share your screen or uh, some specific issues you can also uh, discuss okay uh, please all participants run this code and check you have uh, import successfully uh, shape files in screen number three. Okay, now our uh, next class is on Saturday. So we will create area map on Saturday class. Okay, thank you. Uh, Allah Hafiz.